Hi guys, welcome back to A Rabbit's Tale. My name is DJ Ear, and we are continuing to play Klonoa 2 Lunatia's Vale. We're getting ready to head into the mountains of Mira Mira. I'm having so much fun replaying this, honestly. And I really needed it. I know I took quite a big break um, for a few months or so. I always end up having to do that towards the end of the year. It's just kind of a thing. There's a city up ahead. Pretty chilly outside. Road is completely covered in snow. Ah, but Popka thought something like this would happen. Ta <laughs> it's out of work. Of course. It's the rental board from Joyland. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Klonoa's hoverboard is a rental. Don't forget it. He never actually paid for it. It doesn't belong to him. It's just a rental. <laughs> All right. Let's get going. Um, I don't know if I'll talk a whole lot because the song that plays <laughs> during this section has Klonoa singing it in the background um, but you know we'll see what, we'll, we'll see what happens here I haven't done this in quite a while either all right and we're off doing okay so far I'll take that all right oh already missed it okay that's okay. That's okay. Like I said, this is just... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> We're just playing to have fun. We we are not trying to do anything too crazy. Alright, one more time. There we go. Only marginally better. <laughs> Different, maybe. There we go. Okay. And into the mouth we go. All right. Let's see. I'm gonna pick this up first. Couple gems this way. Whoa, getting a little barfy. Haven't done this in a while. I'll say this, it's oh I missed it, damn it. Um it's uh it's a new day today. Oh I missed that one too, damn it. And um my head is feeling a lot better from having bonked it on my desk. I think I might have mentioned that in the previous episode. Um yeah, feeling a lot better today. Um and I will take that. It's, uh, it, honestly, it's always kind of like, anytime I, something like that happens to me where I, like, hit my head, man, is, is that, like, a scary thought? Got it. Um, you know, it's one of those, like, ooh, like, I am not myself, something is wrong. Like, your, bo your body is just like, something's wrong, not good. So, there we go. Couple more. <laughs> snowboarding move. Alright. I'm having fun. And night time, apparently. Oh, uh, oh, really? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I guess we're just not going that way. Too bad. And then... Daylight again. Interesting little change of pace. Maybe we were inside of a cave or something. I have not. This is really the kind of level that you have to practice. You know. Oh wow. Just got absolutely nothing. 
What? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, we made it to the end. And where is the bell of decision? It's supposed to be around here somewhere. Not really. Mm. We went right past the town. Didn't pay any attention where you were going. Ah. Now for astute Klonoa fans, you will know that this location is the Maze of Memories. And the music in the next stage, in the Maze of Memories, um, is all referenced back to um, the the Wonder Swan Klonoa game. Um, it's it's essentially the same. I think it's supposed to be the same museum, or it's uh, hearkening to that to that same museum. Here we go. The Maze of Memories. So it's all very cool. And in that Wonder Swan game, um, there is a little girl. And the moment doll that you collect in this stage is very reminiscent of that little girl. So it's very cute. Lots of little touches like that throughout the, the series. Let's see. We're looking for the Bell of Indecision. We never venture outside. After all, we can bask in memories right here. Just as art is a reflection of the soul, these mirrors are reflections of our past. Why leave if you can keep reliving bygone days? Yeah, what a bunch of old fogey sh schnuck. <laughs> Mm, something's up with Lolo. Alright. Let's keep moving forwards. The Maze of Memories. Labyrinth of Illusions. Gotcha. Right off the bat. I'll take that. I still say this game is a lot easier than... Oops. Come on. Uh, then... Door to Phantom Isle. I think I... He's actually in the foreground. Um, at least in many ways. I'll take that. Um, not as not as strong as the the first game, I don't think. But as far as a uh, a a jump into the PS2 era with a new game, I think it's a uh, it's a fantastic entry in the in the Klonoa franchise, you know? Okay. Got you. Alright. Doing a little better. Dip dip dip. <laughs> Normally, you can you can get past that really quickly, but I uh, I am still rusty. I haven't played this in quite a while. You know, you play a game enough times and long enough, ow! Um, you really start to figure out what you're supposed to be doing. I'm gonna save that heart in case I hurt myself again, like a doofus. It's entirely possible I might do it. Great song, too. Um, yeah, actually, so I don't think the song is... Um, this loops us back to the this part, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think the song is from... Is it? Actually, no. I think the, the song is actually from that Wonder Swan game. Now, here's the real question, though. Which one of those came first? Um, my memory is not so great. I think this actually came before the Wonder Swan game. 
I don't remember if this is in the uh, the Fantasy Reverie series. So a lot of the little mirrors and things were uh, unfortunately just kind of left out. Gotcha. <clears throat> okay. There we go. Going this way. There's an egg over here, right? Yeah. There we go. Um, and now we will go back. I think our our goal now is we want to grab the uh, what do they call these little guys? Herbal. We're going to take him into the next room. Oops. I want that heart first. So yeah, there's a lot of... There's a lot of little hints here and there in this game as to other games in the... in the franchise. Um, I probably won't point them all out. Um, there's a lot of really clever things in this game. Okay, uh, I believe that's where we want to go. Sure, why not? I'm I'm on I'm on good good pace with collecting everything right now, at least for this stage. So we'll we'll go for those uh, those blue dreamstones. do it the same way. Just like that. Cool. And now into the center door. Alright, making our way through. This could get a little tricky. Let's see if I can remember what we're supposed to be doing here. Flip the switch first. This is going to be an important one. Um, I want to think that... Oh, I don't remember at all what I'm supposed to be doing with this. We need to get to that yellow crystal. Yep. Alright, let's think for a second. How am I supposed to be doing this? Um, so it needs to be like that. Oh man, this is a good one. I'm, I'm a little stumped. Let's do this. Went the wrong way. So, okay. That needs to be closed first. Alright. We're almost there. Oops. That's definitely not what we wanted to do. Grab you. Come over here. Come back over here. Grab you. Oh, crap. <laughs> um, okay. It's clearly not that. 
Let's, let's, uh, let's see if I can figure this out. Okay, I think I got this. Here's what we're gonna do. First, we want to set this guy up to trigger the switch. Before it gets triggered, I'm gonna grab this, bring it over here. He should explode and trigger the switch. Then he responds. Ah, that should do it. Now, I should be able to walk my way over. Done. Fantastic, okay. get all the uh, the things how can I get all the things I guess we're gonna have to flip ourselves around first pick these up over here There we go. Down onto this side. I think that did it. Oh, and now things get a little tricky. Uh, let's see. Oops, I messed that up. Well. Mess that up too. Oh well. We can uh, we can go crazy trying to collect all the things later if we want. That's what the bonus levels are for. There we go. I don't think I'm missing anything down here, am I? Nope. Oops. There we go. So yeah, you can you can kind of shortcut your way through some of those um, if you understand. Oops, ow! If you understand what you're doing with the uh, with the jumps, which clearly I don't, because I'm, I'm being a goofball. Oh, but you know what? This will give me a chance to try and uh, do this again. Let's try this. Couldn't quite make it up there. There we go. Let's go get this one. There it is. There's the little girl from the Maze of Memories. I had to like stop and think about what I was doing the whole time. Tricky, tricky. All right, let's not miss these. Oh, missed one. <laughs> oh boy. Nothing I can do about that. Oh. I always loved over here. I always thought this was like, the AOL logo kind of funny. I think it was completely unintentional. Alright. Almost out. I believe I remember the path for this one. We want the boomy first. Then we want to go in here. There we go.
<laughs> Let's not do that right next to it. <laughs> Alright. Grab this guy. Jump over this way. Damn. Nice. Okay. We'll take this back. I think we jump straight back over. Walk over and grab the herbal. Come this way. Hmm. I'm sure that I need both of them. We probably need to grab this guy and bring him over to the, uh... Oops. To this one. Cool. So there's one. Now we'll go over and grab the herbal. And that will give us the blue. We'll make sure we have it in our hands before we walk out of the room. And there we go. Alrighty. Uh, another big old mirror. Come on, Klonoa. Hey, wait. I see something in there. Whoa! I'm not. I'm not a failure. Ooh, haven't we all been there? There's no way you can become a priestess being as weak as you are. Give up. It's for your own good. You don't have what it takes. You're nothing but a failure and an embarrassment to us all. This is some, like, freaky mirror world shit. What was that one in, in uh, Zelda? There was, I know there was some, like, Dark, not Dark Link. Something else in Zelda was very much like this. Lolo's not having a bad time, man. The dream travel wor traveler will save the world when the Sea of Tears grows stormy. So Baguji knows what's going on. The power of the ring. The ring shall bring peace to the world. See? Not Klonoa, but the ring. The ring shall bring peace to the world. Sometimes you just need a little self-motivation, man. You gotta, you gotta wake up and tell yourself every single day, you are not a failure. And you have what it takes. Heavy hitting shit for a kid's game. Quote unquote kid's game. didn't become a priestess on my own, she says. All I wanted to do was show them that I could become a priestess. I know that it was your power which got me the title, not me. Sad way to end a level, right?
Okay, well, with that depressing episode out of the way, I think we have one last place to visit before this depressing episode also comes to a conclusion. We'll head to Indecision Pass. Clever name. I got the fans on today. I think I had them off in the last couple of recordings. It is a little warm in here. Kind of foggy looking outside, though. Mm, so this is the bell of indecision. And why the heck is it... Is this withered old tree in the way? Ooh. Excuse me for being so withered. <laughs> Strangers are... I, I should give it like an old man voice, right? Strangers are unusual in these parts. So it appears that you're seeking the bell. Indecision. Wow. Somehow I've given it the Mark Twain voice from uh, Star Trek Next Generation. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, fifth bell. We need the element. Contain it. Wow, Mr. Data. <laughs> I'm, I'm cracking myself up like I do that voice way too funny. Way too well, sorry. <laughs> Why do you wish to save the world? Good question. Why have you taken it upon yourselves to save the world? Pop, that ain't like you need a reason to save it. Mm, but is that really true? Do you need a reason to save it? The girl doesn't seem to think so. The old tree knows. Let it be known, most mo wisest character in the Klonoa franchise, Old Tree. <laughs> if you want the bell, you must first pass the test. Oof! Look at that big boy. Visitors are so rare. Now enjoy my hospitality. Uh, Lolo, <laughs> let's get going. <laughs> you, uh, ha ha ha. She's just cold. It's so cold. What are you doing, you dummy? Without you, he can't use his ring. A really clever mechanic that should have been used during other parts of the game, but instead are relegated to Polinet, the hatchling. Polinet? Pol Polente. I don't know how we're pronouncing it. I always pronounced it Polinet, but then again, for many years as a child, I used to pronounce it uh, Kelowna. Oh, there's my phone. I don't want to talk to this person right now, though. <laughs> Let's get back to the game. Alright, cool. Damn! Yeah, I used to... I don't know if I was just, like, Listexic or something, but I straight up would, would call him Kelowna. Even though, clearly, it's Clo Noah. Kids, right? Kids are rich. Ow. Ow. That's that one up. Alright. Let's get through here. Oh, heart. I'll take that. Oof. It's kind of cute. Ow. That's gonna hurt. There we go. Get heart back. And bam. Cracked the egg. <laughs> you just gonna stand there? Have they been running like the whole time on the sides? <laughs> well, uh, I'm not qualified to save the world. Who cares about qualifications, you dummy? Oh, I love Papa. 
The voice of reason. Look at him. Does he look qualified? Does he have a license? Did he take the classes? He's not even from this world, but he's giving everything he's got to fight for Lunati. You think he's trying so hard because he wants to save the world? No. It's because he's a simple fool who doesn't know any better. But he keeps on fighting because all he knows is to keep on trying. He's an idiot. <laughs> And Lolo, you're just as much of an idiot. The least you can do is keep trying. Least you can do is keep trying. Uh huh. You called me an idiot. Was that supposed to comfort me? You mad? You mad, son? Right. Maybe. Maybe you're mad. But you deserved it. Yeah, you did. Will Klonoa ever forgive me? Well, I'd say helping him can't hurt your chances. He's up against the giant egg thing. Get over there. Alright. Here we go. You know what kills me too is I say that this game is so like so much easier than Door to Phantom Isle and all that, and then I just finished trying to watch. Oh, I missed it. Trying to watch someone. I won't say their name, but let's just say they are an exceedingly popular YouTuber um, with hundreds of thousands of followers, and they stream on Twitch and probably make tons of money um, from all of their fans who send them cash just for playing video games online. And I can't tell you how difficult it was for this individual to get through this game. Uh, like, I, it, it, it was mind-boggling. Um, and, and, you know, and and I say, and the same thing happens. Like I, uh, I've seen, I've seen so many YouTubers who, are like, I don't, I don't get. I assume that people like watching them, and they're popular just because people like their personalities. That's got to be it. You know. Whoop! Out. But um, at the same time, oh man. At the same time, it just uh, it just kind of blows my mind that people can have such a difficult time sometimes with uh, with certain games. Maybe I just played this this uh, franchise so much I got used to uh, like their you know their design mechanics and all those all those kinds of things. I will say I do enjoy this music, so it's been a, been a while since I've been able to enjoy this music as much as I have. Why does every one of these little guys hit me? Oh, come on. Okay. Whoop. Alright. We just need to get like three hits in with <laughs> one heart. Oh, come on! Gotcha. Sweet. Alright, cool. Also, did I mention it probably in a previous previous episodes? This game has like two taunts that you can do. I think they removed one of the taunt buttons from the uh, Fantasy Reverie series. I've played it now, so I, I, I know. I can see all kinds of differences. Oh, all of you! No, it was your work, Mr. Data! Your determination in particular that impressed me! Such an annoying voice. Results are what matters in this world. The old tree knows. 
We Miramirans are an indecisive people, but doubt is a part of us all. That we can't deny. But if you can accept doubt and move forward, everything else will eventually fall into place. See? Wisest character in the game. Take the element. Thank you very much. I think I will. Bam! Oh boy. Well, that was a lot of fun. And, uh, oh, time to head on back to Baggagey. Alrighty. We'll do that on the next episode of A Rabbit's Tale. Thank you so much for stopping by, guys. If you want to see more and you enjoyed what you're watching, feel free to subscribe. Um, or click all the other little things. I don't care. It's, uh, it's nice having you around. And I hope that you, you know, enjoy chilling and listening to my voice while I play video games. That's essentially what we're doing here. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. <laughs>